Hello, this is Dr. Myers, Department Chair of Health Services at National University. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how to create goals and set them in Workday. So setting up goals is nothing new. Of course, companies and businesses have been goal setting and planning for a long time, and those are well actually well defined in the literature. We know from several work groups and business groups that goals and feedback are a learning loop that helps businesses, universities, and companies get to where they're going. All the data that we have, companies with high performing employees generally have a linkage between company and individual goals. So setting goals is very important. The quarterly system seems to work. Organizations that do that have a very good outcome. And a lot of field studies show that if you have specific and challenging goals, they, those lead to higher performance. You may not get to all your goals. In fact, this whole goal setting process is a sweet spot is getting to about 70% of your goal setting each year, gives you something to work on for the next year or the next quarter. And those kinds of aims, those kinds of, of goals, those kinds of ambitions really help you, your company, and university succeed. So where it all starts is you want to look at your strategic plan. Here's an example of ours. At the top, we have our mission and value statements where we want to get to, how we support that or get there. We have our pillars. So we have next-gen education, whole human education, value-rich education. These are all tenants of National University you can find on our website. There's parts of each one of these pillars, again, supporting our mission and values. And we also have a foundation, values and other areas that we use as a foundation to help our strategic plan. So when you get here, you want to start thinking about how your goals, how your ambitions for your department or your unit is going to fit into the larger picture of the strategic plan. And then the work part is that you have to do is go into Workday. In Workday, it's going to be mapping those specific pillars. So once you pick a goal, you can map it to a pillar or a foundation, and that's going to be pre-generated in Workday. And you can select all of those and start entering your goals and work with your supervisor to make sure you have the resources and the help and the guidance to get those done. How we get these into Workday, I will show you next. So before you get to Workday, what I'm showing here is an Excel sheet that comes from the university documents. And here you're gonna set your goals. There'll be three of them, organizational, individual, and a development goal if you scroll over them. Each one is also going to have milestones. So you're gonna have a milestone in each quarter that has a due date and then a goal date for the entire goal. So again, here we're gonna have, it's easier to set this into a spreadsheet once we get it done. So once the spreadsheet is done, we can copy paste when we get to Workday. So we sign into Workday, and many times it will actually give you, your supervisor will assign you goals. So if you click there, you'll see manage goals. And if you click there, the first goal will be there from your uh, supervisor. And here that's gonna be the organizational goal. This one's gonna be set by your supervisor and it'll populate there. From here, you wanna navigate over, scroll down and you'll see the goal and a description and have the details. Details, you can leave notes, you can finish tracking, and then you want to click on milestones. And here you can see the milestones I populated already from the spreadsheet. So you see you have the goal, the description area, you can set a status figure, and again, you can go back and edit these as you work on your goals. Again, this one's an organizational goal, and it's set by, by the supervisor. The pillar is identified, so again, if we go and look at the pillars, we have the set as next gen education and we have the due date. So as we go back and we look at our strategic plan, we can see how it aligns with the organizational goal. We have the pillar, which is next gen education, and that's what we're going to populate into Workday. So again, in Workday, we can just click on the pull down menus and we can align those goals with the category and organizational alignment. Next, we click on the milestones. So here you can see I put them in. These were copied right from my spreadsheet for each quarter, all four quarters. And these are the ones that I wrote up. So I'm going to do these quarterly milestones to accomplish my goal. So you can see for the first one, through a strategic planning process, started by the department, I'm going to modify, update, 
one program. So I'm going to take that and copy that. That goes right into my milestone. So that's the first one there. And that one I've already done, so that's 100%. I've identified what I want to look at. Next, I'm working on connecting the appropriate faculty. I'm going to continue to work on the targeted programs, and those are defined by the quarterly milestones. I'm going to go back. I can switch back to the goal, and it's all backed up in Workday. Now, how do I go about entering my goals, the individual and development goals? I go up to the profile area. So you click on the profile, the little icon, and click on View Profile. And then we're going to go all the way onto the left navigation, all the way down to performance. I'm going to click on performance in Workday. That's where all the goals are. So you see that first one, the organizational one, is pre-populated. That's the one we just worked on. You can also click on create goals. When you click on that, now you can create your individual and development goals. So again, I go back to my spreadsheet, which I've already written all these out. And my individual goal is going to align with my department or my entity. So that one I'm going to collaborate with faculty. And again, I'm going to copy and paste these into the goal. The description can be the same, or I can add more detail into the description. Again, I'm going to select the status. Whatever it happens to be here, it's probably going to be just started. So 0 or 25% I can select. And again, I can edit these later once I finish or make progress on them. Click on the category. This is going to be an individual goal, which is my individual unit, in this case, my department. Then I'm going to click on the category. Then I'm going to click on the organizational alignment. And again, it's the same pillar, next, next Gen Education. Again, that comes from that strategic plan. My organization alignment, again, I'm going to go to find that pillar. So it's under my organizational goals. Click on top of org and navigate to organizational goals. And there they are. The pillars, the foundation, and this one is going to be pillar next, just like we had for my larger organizational goal for my supervisor. The due date's the end of the academic year. So I will just populate that as June 30th. 2024 in this case. So we just navigate through that calendar and put in our due date. That's for the entire goal. I can enter comments. I can also provide additional details and notes. And next I'm going to click on the milestones. Just like we did before for the larger organizational goal, I can click on the plus button. Again, they're all in my Excel sheet of all the milestones for my individual goal, which is to update and work on modifying courses and electronic textbooks. So again, I'll add those milestones. There'll be four of them quarterly. I'll go in, select the date, kind of going back in time here because we've already started the year, but September 30th, this was the first milestone, which should be done by now. So I'm going to start collaborating with my faculty, identifying outside content or electronic resources to make sure that I'm heading to my goal of Online materials, digital materials is my goal. Again, I'll copy all of those milestones. So here's the next one. I'm going to work on with my, some faculty, faculty champions, identify those and connect with them, and start working on a plan to get more electronic resources and open access resources, digital resources, in my program. Again, this is my individual goal for my department. And I keep going. I'm going to go down, add a milestone, the third quarter. Now I'm going to engage in discussions. I'm going to bring in the library, support technologists, anyone I can find to continue my project, my goal of working on this digitizing of resources in my department. And I'll just enter the due date, put in the status. This is in the future, so it's probably at zero. And again, I can edit this in Workday as I make progress on my goals and my milestones. Put in the last one, copy, paste. Now the date's going to be the last date, so that'll be June 30th, 2024. And again, I'll put in the status. Once I'm all finished, got all the milestones and the due dates, make sure they're correct, then I click Submit. Once I do that, you can see that it's now populated as my goal. It's given me the status. 
There's my support, identified school strategies related to co-curricular development. That's from the organizational goal. The new one is adoption of open access materials and electronic materials. Now I go and create another goal. This is my development goal. It's really my own plan for my professional development. I'm going to, here's my goal statement. I'm going to develop expertise in generative AI. So again, I have it all in my spreadsheet. I'm going to copy and paste it into Workday. Goal and description. Status. Again, the category, this is a development goal. So it's my professional development goal. Again, I'm going to go through and click on the category and the, to get the organizational alignment I'll navigate through the organization goals and again there it is it's going to be next gen education the pillar select that put in the due date which of course is going to be the end of the academic year June 30th 2024 click there again I can leave details I can make comments and I'm going to put in my milestones next so I click on the milestones and I'm going to click that little plus button once I go out and again, I'm going to copy the first one. So the Q, Q1 milestone, quarter one milestone, is to begin the journey, identify an online course that I want to take, either it be Google or Adobe. So I'm going to copy and paste that, click on the plus button, copy and paste the milestone. The due date, I'm going to put that in. That's the first quarter. So this should have been done September 30th. Next, I'll click on just add the status, which again, I can edit as I go along. I kind of already figured that I'm going to use Adobe and I'm going to pick that so I can put that as 100%. Again, I can enter comments if I need to and then I keep going. I just hit the next milestone for the second quarter, go to my Excel sheet, copy and paste. So now on my second quarter, I'm going to enroll and start learning. That's my second milestone. Put in the due date. Again, once all my milestones are in, checked all the due dates, go back to my goals, so they're all there, this overall status, the category, the organizational alignment, and then I click Submit. Now I have my three goals. I could put more in, but for this academic year, it's good to start with probably just three goals, organizational, individual, and a personal development goal. And I can view these, I can revise them, I can edit them, and submit them to my supervisor. So again, this is a quick way to create goals in Workday. Again, under the performance menu, these are here, and you'll get notifications in Workday if any of these need to be worked on. This is goal setting in Workday.